let's now look at how to retain objects inside our games. Let's take, for example, this is the PriceCP Funhouse. And there's a lot of good stuff in here. So in case you haven't been here, you can come take a look, check it out. Anyway, in this tutorial, we want to learn how to retain objects inside our games. So let's take, for example, I have this buggy here, the speed buggy. And let's say if I'm a bad driver and I drive it off the edge of the platform, the player, myself, my character is going to respawn, but the buggy is gone forever. So now nobody else can enjoy the buggy inside this game anymore because there is no more buggy. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to retain the objects inside our games so that other people, including yourself, you can enjoy the buggy again, even if you made a mistake and drove it off the, the edge of the platform. Now, one way to do it would be to put an invisible wall all around this platform so that you cannot drive off the edge, but that wouldn't be fun. So we want players to be able to drive off the edge and they would die, but the object is not going to be lost from the game forever. So basically, the way to do it would be the same as we're spawning in the balls over here, the bouncy balls. We're going to check to see when the buggy is driven off the edge then we're gonna spawn in a new buggy but the question is how can we tell when the buggy is being driven off the edge let's now go to studio here we are inside roblox studio and here you can see i have the buggy inside the fun stuff folder now one way that came to mind is for me to keep checking this fun stuff folder for this buggy and when it disappears like when the player drives it off the edge of the platform when it disappears, I'm going to spawn in a new buggy in at the same exact location as this buggy. Let's now play test and see if that idea is going to work. So first thing I want to do is maybe I should have placed the buggy closer to me so I don't have to run that far. But you see, what I want to do is I want to keep an eye on this folder here. There is a buggy inside that folder, right? So when that buggy disappears, I'm going to replace it with a new buggy. The same way we're spawning in the bouncy balls. Let's see if that's going to work. So here I'm going to pretend I'm a bad driver. Actually, I am in Roblox. And I drove off the edge of the platform. But you can see I have respawned back into the game. But the buggy is still there at the fun stuff folder. Inside the fun stuff folder. Even though it is not anywhere on this platform so that idea to look for the buggy in the fun stuff folder when it disappears we're going to replace it that idea is not going to work because in this case it never disappears even though we don't see it in this game anymore it is still there So after thinking about it for a while, I have come up with a new strategy on how to keep the buggy inside this game. Let's now go to our service script service and let's add a script. You can name your script respawn. And in your script, just enter the following lines. At the top here, we're just declaring all the objects inside our game. For example, this is the fun stuff folder, which is this folder right here. And then part is our buggy. So the buggy is inside the fun stuff folder. The next two lines here, I'm basically making a copy of the buggy and move it into the replicated storage. So basically we're copying this buggy and then we move the copy version into this replicated storage. Down here, we have an infinite loop. So we're going to keep on checking this. We're going to look at the primary part of our buggy our part right our part is the buggy so our buggy has a primary part so go to the buggy click on the buggy go to the properties window you're gonna see that the primary part is the chassis of the car so go back to the buggy expand it and here we see that here's the chassis so the chassis is the primary part of the buggy the chassis has a position property and specifically, we're going to look at the Y component of this chassis. This Y position should not change. So it started out at 2.1. It should be about the same 
at about 2.1 but we're gonna keep an eye on it so when it goes to negative 40 we assume that the car went off the edge of the platform and is falling down so in that case first thing we're gonna do we're gonna destroy the car so this car the buggy is gonna be destroyed it's gonna be gone from this folder next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a copy of our copy that we have placed inside the replicated storage so we're making a copy of that buggy that is inside the replicated storage and then we're moving it back inside the fun stuff folder so we're putting a new copy into this folder back into the folder and we're doing that each time the buggy goes off the platform all right let's now play and take a look so here i am inside the game and I'm going to go to my buggy. And on my way there, I'm going to play with all these fun stuff. Because we are inside the fun house. Can I let... Whoa! I landed on the car. Check that out. All right. And did I break the car? All right. So here we go. I drove off the platform. And let's see. I respawned it. And... I can see the car is there, the buggy is there. So if you look inside the replicate storage folder here, you see there is a copy of the buggy because we copied it in. This is where we copied it in. So this copy here, that's where it's coming from. And every time I drive the new buggy off the platform, we're gonna make a copy of this buggy and we're gonna put it inside the fun stuff folder. Okay, let's try one more time, see if the car is still there. I just kicked the ball all the way over there. All right, I'm gonna jump in. And here we go. Which one is the handbrake? Spacebar, okay? Let, let me try to see if I can do. Wow, check out that brake. That's so cool. Whoa, I hit the trampoline. All right, let me try again. Here we go. Right. Oh man, I didn't fall off. That is so cool. I hit the light pole. And this time, I break, but I didn't make it. So I fell off over the edge. And let's see if the car respawned. There it is. I can see the car all the way over there. Alright guys, so that is how you keep objects inside your Roblox games. Thank you.